All right guys, first time in the new airport. This is so cool. I can't believe how different it feels. Okay. Well, okay. Text, me how I'm like, it'll be like, just the craziest things about me. Let's do this podcast. Yeah, no, the other day I go, I text him like 5 a.m. Are you awake? He goes, yeah, why? I guess, dude, I pull an all nighter. Him? Oh, Stuart, me. What the fuck? You hear that, Brandon? <laughs> All right, you guys, so we finally made it to Delaware. Um, we had a four hour flight, which was freaking terrible, and it was really bumpy, so that was awful. And then we actually ended up running to a nail salon and got our nails done, me, Stu, and Jenna, because we were supposed to get them done yesterday, we ran out of time, and we looked awful. So we got our nails done, and now we're at a restaurant, and this looks really yummy, so I'll show you guys what we order. And then we have our class tomorrow, so we're super, super excited, and if you're coming, we're so excited to meet you. Um, I'm gonna pass you guys around the table, and I'm gonna have each educator give me a fun fact about themselves. I love putting you guys on the spot. Hi. Um, yeah, everyone knows you guys are people. Like, are you serious? I literally don't. The one time you're speechless. Like, come on. Okay, you guys, my name is Stu, and I am um, just a friend of fun fact. Yeah, it's a fun fact. A fun fact about me is that I. Um, are you serious? He loves Harry Styles. Check out this sweatshirt. Uh, that was yeah, cool. there it is. <laughs> that was your fun fact. I'll come back if I think of something. Okay, fun fact about me, it's not even that fun. I have two cats, so I'm a cat mom. Me and my husband rescued two baby cats um, from living under pallets a couple years ago. They were six weeks old. And then we named them Randy and Lucy after a funny show that we used to be obsessed with. Wait, your cat's named Randy? Randy and Lucy. Does Randy know that? That's funny. No, because I feel like that's weird to tell him that. My cat's Randy. He'll know now. Yeah, I said, no, no. He's like, you have a cat named Randy? Okay. So. My fun fact is, I'm gonna steal from Stu and Jenna, like your things. No, like your things. So one of my my favorite singer, and I get all blushy when I talk about him, is I'm obsessed with Bono from U2. And too good at this. Yeah. Um. And then I also have two cats, and maybe one of their names is Bono. Okay, I'm Bailey, and the fun fact about me is that I just got two puppy huskies, and I have two cats, so I have a little zoo at my house, and I love it. It's amazing. A fun fact about me is... I'm the only one Diana likes that calls her dirty. She says if Stu calls her dirty, that it feels actually dirty. <laughs> But when I do it, it feels holy because I'm the holier soul. Okay, my name is Diana. Like, and a fun fact about me is that I actually love to snowboard. You did that. And I said this is snowboard. And I have a dog, and he's a big German Shepherd, and his name is Duke, and he's my baby. So I love it. Did you think of another one? Fun fact about Stu is that I named Jesse's dad Daddy. All right, Addy. You're gonna do a dessert taste test. First one. Let's get a little of everything. Angel Maybe. food cake? No. Angel food cake's my stuff because I don't like chocolate. You what? What? You already know. You that. did not say that in your interview before yeah, I hired I did. you. But you're good. Is that good? Okay, dessert one down. What would you rate that on a scale from one to ten? I want this one. This one's Maybe a seven. Okay. Okay, we got some room to grow. All right, let's see this one. But you don't like chocolate, so that's not fair. I can do it, but like, I don't love like. I don't understand that. That's chocolate so weird. Always gross to me. Oh my gosh! I just want to put my mouth in there and let it cool. Uh, oh. <laughs> Literally. I find it's like a six. It's like you will. Okay, uh, what about all dark chocolate? But I. Oh, gotcha. Okay. What about she? But my mom likes all dessert, so you need to give it a rating. Okay, Addy. I'm trying to get some meat on Addy's bones. Shoot, this is oh wow. So Michelle, who doesn't like food. Chocolate. Love chocolate. Um, I went to your pantry the other day. Maybe like a six. Really? Okay. None of them went above a seven. This is like a bigger city than I thought it was. It's just all these stupid one-way roads. We're just losing ourselves. This better be a show-stopping performance. <laughs> This is your wedding song. Oh. Yeah, I'm a cute man, like the Kirk's different eyes. Like 
Did you imagine? I'm dying. She was just mouth sync, like lip syncing. She was pregnant when she sung this. That kind of fit. Wait, really quick, Addy. Tell us what happened at the restaurant with your bathroom. I walked into the men's bathroom. And I walked in and just started screaming because I saw urinals everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I, I literally have never flipped around so fast. Ah! I know, oh, we just heard Addy screaming and we're like, what the heck? I don't know why in my head, like, I didn't even look at the sign. Oh I know, God. you just walked into the first store you saw. Like. Well, we went to that one restaurant in Chicago, the Michelin one, the first night. Oh, Stu and I yeah. kind of sat in the bathroom for like 10 minutes trying to figure out it's all in Spanish, what one was girls and what one was It was guys. in Spanish? Oh yeah. my God, it, and it, it didn't like, even have a boy and a girl sign. It was just like, and it wasn't like, like, I was like it wasn't yes, senor, senorita either. Like I could I was say see girls. Senor, yeah. it no, it was it like, was not they start, both of them started with C. Are you sure it was Spanish? Yeah. We ate at a Mexican restaurant. We're checking the floor. We all feel it still. I've never felt that in all the hotels we've ever been to. You're the one who started this. None but of they, us would have noticed they make if shock knew. absorber type things when we go. So, but, but why do we feel it? We've never felt like that it, before. So what we, let's get it to our room. It's not by the elevator. Oh, the oh yeah. smart, Addy. Let's let's all go sit outside their room just real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, well, Jennifer. This is what our trips are like. Our <laughs> <mother's> <laughs> oh my gosh. 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 Oh my gosh.
So we are in the middle of the class right now. We just did our demo. Um, so I basically do that part of the class where I talk for like the first hour and a half about everything they're gonna be learning. And then now the educators have the students to themselves and they're in little groups. So you can kind of see in the background, we have everyone working and they're going to be learning the two different methods we teach. So there's a thick hair foundation and a fine hair foundation. And then we do stitching of the wefts. So they learn hand tied wefts, machine wefts and cozy wefts. And they're all doing so good so far. So I'm gonna take you around the room and show you. We have all of our educators here. So we have Addie, Stu, Jetta, and Mom. And then we have a guest educator, Katie, with us. She is a stylist at our salon and is so good and so cute. So we have her doing a group today too. How you feel? Oh, I didn't know you were doing that. <laughs> okay, guys, so we just finished dinner on night two and we're back in the hotel room and we had a very special guest at the class today. Shout out to Brett Ryan. We have been following him for how long? Like a while. Since I met you. Yeah, since you met me, and he's been like such a good supporter of ours, so we invited him to the class this weekend, and he brought us a bottle of champagne, baby. Oh, shout out to this guy. Woo! So we're gonna be popping that tonight. Oh, oh my God, it's popping on Friday. Hold on, hold my phone. Ready? Why? Wait, wait, I'm not ready. Wait, what hurry is, it? What is it? Off my head. Wait, Katie's trying to film. Hey. What is it? Woo! That's so Someone probably thought that was a gunshot. So Brett freaking Ryan. <laughs> Insert, let's talk peaks and pits. All right, let's talk peaks and pits. Um, the peak of the trip was probably that it was like a really in and out trip, so I don't feel like we had like a huge, like strict schedule, so we kind of just like freelance and do whatever we want. So it was like nice to change the like that, you know? It was like kind of like we just like didn't know what the heck was going on the whole time. We were just like, okay, let's do this. And it was just like, I don't know, it was just like weird and laid back and quit. And I usually don't like that, but it was a nice change. Um, my pit. No, no, no. My peak was meeting Brett freaking Ryan. <laughs> I was oh actually, my god. I was waiting for that. I was so surprised. I was, I was making something up because I didn't. I couldn't think of anything. But no, meeting <laughs> Brett Ryan because I followed him for forever. Me and Jesse are obsessed with him, and he came to our class. So Brett, thanks for coming. My pit would have to be. Um, but you're good. Was it good? My pit would have to be that during the class my nose kept bleeding and I come oh, out yeah. right to the bathroom and I don't know what was going on but I might have like something wrong with me. Uh, my peak, it was a great trip, it was in and out, what Stu said. And also I did get a whole road to myself on the plane and I think I'm getting a whole road to myself again oh. today. So I'm gonna lay down and sprawl out. Really? And then my pit was probably leaving my dogs and cats. That was really hard. It was coffee, guys. What? Oh, the, the coffee DoorDash guy. coffee. Oh, yeah, talk about that. So we ordered coffee and the class started, so all of us were like in the zone, whatever. And 
uh, my mom pulls me to side and is like, oh, the coffee's upstairs. Can you go run up and get it? And I was like, sure. I run up and the front desk dude's like, uh, he's been waiting for <laughs> so long. Like, where have you been? And I was like, oh, I was just cold. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just sorry. a messenger. So I went outside and the door dasher comes out of his car and said, I've been here for so long. Like, I called so many times. And I told him we were in a class and none of us had our phones. And I just found out, whatever, I went inside. Front door guy, yeah, he threatened to leave with your coffee and not give it to you. <laughs> what is going on? Like, I'm sorry, I'm just the messenger, man. Don't shoot the messenger. Anna but, said in the notes, leave it at the front desk. Yeah, so. and I was like, why did you have to wait? Like, just leave it. All right. My peak was meeting Brett Ryan and Bridget because they both came to our classes this week and Bridget is one of our brand ambassadors for Jay-Z and she's been so loyal and supportive and we finally got to meet her in person and then like Stu said we've been following Brett forever and he's also been such a big supporter and I just admire everything he's doing with like YouTube and Instagram and then just like building his brand so I just love meeting people in our industry that we connect with. I love you too Bridget. And it was just really cool to meet people that we've known online for years. And then my pit was leaving Jagger behind. This is the first trip he hasn't gone on. And it was a little bit nice because I got more sleep than I normally do, but I really have missed him. So that was definitely my pit. All right, let's talk peaks and pits. You guys Oh my it. goodness. Okay, so I think my peak is, I know I say this all the time, but it really truly was getting to know the students in the class. Um, my group was just extra special and I just loved hearing about their lives and they just all did so well and I'm just really excited to see how they take this forward with their career and have so much success with it. Um, my pit is honestly probably this whole COVID thing is really like it puts such a damper on the bonding process in the class. Um, you know, we because we don't get to see their faces, their their beautiful faces behind their masks and and see their expressions and everything like that. I you can just tell they want to give you a hug and we want to give them a hug back and it's so hard to just you know be re you know we we have to be respectful and and this is a serious thing and we want to make sure we're doing what we're supposed to be doing but it's sad to me that we're losing that that part of it so that's probably my pick so my peak of the trip was meeting Brett Ryan. <laughs> I was literally so excited. I fangirled the whole time. I was about to cry when I saw him. He was just as funny and nice in person as I was, was expecting he would be from his social media. It's got my arm in a ripple. Uh, my pit was that we couldn't go to New York. This was supposed to be our New York trip, but that's okay because I still had just as much fun. But I do want to go back to New York because I've only been once. And the only thing I cared about was the American Eagle Falls Okay, so my peak of the trip I was to so me so and Diana room. got upgraded to comfort on the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> which I've never sat in comfort before, so it was so relaxing. It was so nice. And um, hopefully we'll get upgraded to first class or comfort today. And then my pit of the trip, we actually had a really good trip. I don't feel like anything crazy happened, but... Yesterday before our class, we were all like rushing to get ready and our hotel room was a little bit crappy. There was a few quirks in it. We had like one outlet that worked in the entire hotel room. And then I walk into the bathroom after Jess had just like flushed the toilet and I walk into water pouring over the toilet and like soaked my, my feet. And it was just super gross and annoying to deal with. So that's probably the only bad thing on this trip. Like, I sleep with Addy every night. Yes, that was definitely a peak. <laughs> okay, so my peak of the trip was honestly probably the whole trip. I just feel so excited to be able to come here and be a part of it. I've always wanted to educate and so, and just spend time with everybody. It was really fun. I can't even think of one thing that was better than the rest. It was just an amazing trip. And I don't know, like I really don't feel like there was any pit. It was kind of hard with the whole COVID stuff like Diana was saying, but we just worked through it and it was awesome. So super glad to be here. 
All right, you guys, so we just got back from our Delaware trip. It was a really quick one in and out. We were only there for two nights, but it was so much fun. Um, I tried to get as much footage as I could for you guys, but it was just kind of like a quick one. And there honestly wasn't much to do in Delaware, so it wasn't like we were doing anything super crazy. Um, but I just got back to the office today. I have some stuff to do on my computer. I just wanted to show you guys um, my office because I've been giving you guys updates on how we've been like arranging it and redoing it. And I think it's finally like, pretty much done. We only have like a few more things like we're getting a neon sign made for the podcast and things like that that I'll show you. But I've organized a few things, rearranged a few things as we've been like working to see what works and what doesn't. So I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of that since I've been keeping you um, in the loop with that. Um, but I just wanted to say thanks so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so in my last update, you guys saw that I had my desk here. I decided to move it because there were all these cords right here. And it's so funny because when I posted the vlog, someone commented and they asked me, they're like, hey, if you moved your desk by the window, it probably wouldn't be as annoying. And I was like, oh my gosh, so I actually did that. Um, and then also now this wall is more free for photos, which is good. So this wall is basically just empty so we can use it as a backdrop for photos. Uh, I still have all my color right here. I still need to go through all this. It's all this like new tech equipment we've gotten. I have baby's corner right here, our two hair stations. And then it's basically just kind of like open right here, which is nice. Cause when girls are getting ready for like photo shoots or videos, it is more open right here and we have more room. And then I just have all of our little cleaning supplies. I have my wedding dress hanging there. Um, and then I still have my um, backdrop for filming right here. So this is where I do all of my hair tutorials for Jessie Kated. And so this is really good because I like having the white wall. And then this is still the same. We have our black wall and this is all of my mixing stuff. So this is where we film all the mixing and then it goes over to the podcast area. We haven't changed much here either, but we are having that Jay-Z sign made. So it's gonna say just Jay-Z, it's a big neon light up sign so that when we film the podcast, that's behind us. And then I believe we're gonna change this paint to a matte black because you guys can see on camera, it's super shiny and distracting. Um, but this is the biggest change. So I did move my desk. So this used to just have this chair and the couch. But I ended up moving my desk here because of that suggestion. So I can't remember who said it, but shout out to you because it actually worked out great. So I almost now have like a seating area. So if I do have like a meeting or someone coming to talk to me, they can sit here, I'm at my desk, and it also has a lot of natural lighting, which is nice. I'll show you guys from this angle. Bentley's here at the office with me today. He's being so good. Um, so yeah, so that's how it is now, and I am so happy with how all of this has turned out. I'm sure it will still continue to evolve because you know things that here at Jay-Z don't stay the same for long, but I am super happy with it, and I will show you guys when the neon sign comes in. All right, you guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed doing this travel vlog for you guys. Let me know if you would like to see more like these in the future. I know travel vlogs aren't like my typical thing because I usually do like hair and lifestyle, but it's so much fun to document our trips and just like look back because it's like a scrapbook of everything I've been doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what type of videos you would like to see in the future and I will see you next time.